everyone. I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy podcast, episode number 59. Welcome. I have some finished objects, some works in progress, as always, <laughs> and some upcoming things. So let's get started. Okay, so for my finished objects, last week I was telling you that I was working on a mystery crochet along, and this was um, released by Amy's Crochet Cave. Dot com. I think that's a link. I'll put a link in the description box below of all the patterns that I speak about in this episode. And so anyway, I did finish it. It was quite a fast project. I think um, it was like maybe, what was it, two weeks, I guess? Because last week, I think, was the first time I, I told you about it. But anyway, I got it put together. And so um, hopefully I won't spoil it. For anybody because I think there's already been pictures since it's over I think there's been pictures already posted of the finished object so anyway here's mine so it turned out to be a hippo and it was very fun to do uh, I was um, didn't know what it was going to be for the longest time until finally when I was doing the head part and I finally figured out because at first it just seemed like it was I thought it was going to go down this way and get smaller and this was like the neck but then when I had to put the eyes in uh, the safety eyes um, it really perplexed, perplexed me <laughs> but then I got to looking at it more and especially with the ears and then I figured out it must be a hippo and so then the next clue was uh, released about how to put them together then of course I got it was confirmed <laughs> that it was a hippo but anyway super cute it looks really dark because it's a I don't know if the color is turning showing right but it is a dark plum color that I use that I had in my stash and a purple of course I had no idea what it was gonna be so uh, she just said and her example was that she used one dark color and a light color and so I just kind of went with that as far as picking out the colors anyway here's a little bushy tail <laughs> my tail now last week I had this piece done and it was pink and some of you had guessed maybe it was going to be a unicorn like that was the horn but I discovered after I made it that I had did it, I had made it in the wrong color that it was supposed to be in color number one which was the main color and so I had to redo re you pull it out and redo it so then I kind of figured it must have been a tail but I wasn't for positive until I got it all together so anyway here it is super cute her patterns are very cute so I knew that um, the, whatever this was going to be was going to be cute so anyway it's done <laughs> okay and then for my other finished objects it, they are the uh, 365 days of granny squares project from yarn utopia which is Nadia and this week I actually got seven done I guess I was on a roll so I did seven instead of six so last week we left off at number 238 Oh no, 237. So this one is 238, which is this one. And then this one is 239. I really like this one. It's pretty. It's got that flower shape right in the center. I like that one. And then this one is 240 right here. And then this one is 241, which is a snail. Which, if you remembered a few weeks ago, I did one that was um, a dragonfly. And so those two squares together would be really cute, I think. And I believe my next square coming up, which I haven't done yet, but I think it's the next one I'll do, is, is got a butterfly on it. So those would be really cute together. And of course, now, on hers, I believe her snail was facing that way <laughs> but since I'm left-handed it faces this way but anyway whatever <laughs> anyway super cute okay and then with all that talking I forgot what number I'm on let's see 38 39 40 41 okay so this one is 242 right here and then 243 is this one I like that color combination and then the seventh one for this time is number 244, which is kind of a wagon wheel shape. Okay, 
So that's all my works. Uh, that's all my finished objects. As far as works in progress, last week I showed you that I finished uh, 365 squares days of Granny Square blanket number six. <laughs> so this one is I'm starting the next uh, blanket, and so this one is number seven. And I'm using the green. I really like the way the green brought the col the squares together last week. And so I'm using the Red Heart Super Saver um, in tea leaf again. I liked it. So I thought I'd continue with it another time. And now, last one I did, well, the ones I have been doing is six squares by six squares. And they've been turning out fairly large. And so I was thinking this time, since it is for the Project Linus donation, uh, charity donation uh, and it is for blankets for children up to age 18 I believe uh, that they give to children in hospitals and so I was thinking this one I will do five by five so this one would be for a younger child a smaller child so anyway so I've got I did six last week so I have my five and then my little extra one at the bottom there <laughs> okay so there is that and then works in progress number two is I did get started with my Christmas uh, character uh, Grafgan blanket, um, the square for July, and it is the wreath, and I'm not quite halfway through yet. I've got all my bobbins hanging from it. Um, I think I've got about four more rows to go, and then I will be the halfway point, and then I'll start to decrease. Um, it's going pretty quickly because you don't have that many colors to worry about. So, um, as far as, you know, getting the ends woven and changing and all that. So, it's going pretty quickly with this. Uh, it does have a red bow at the top that's got a couple of colors. Um, and, of course, it is a blank pattern by Z Sarah Zimmerman of Repeat Crafter Me. And here is a picture of the full entire blanket right there. Let me get this in my other hand here <laughs> okay so see and the blanket the course I mean the square that I am doing is the one down at the corner which is the wreath okay so um, that one is works in progress number two so works in progress number three is another crochet along this one is the small but mighty dragon crochet along by Sharon Oyala and uh, she has a YouTube channel, and that is her channel name. I'm look. I'm scrolling on my phone right quick. I want to find the picture of the finished product, a finished object, so I can show it to you. There you go. Okay, so there it is. It is a small but mighty dragon, and I've got some more work done on that. So here's what I've got so far. I'm really liking the colors. And the last clue that I had, well not a clue because I already know what it is, but the last installment of the crochet along was the legs. And see, the le the toes even have little toenails that she shows you how to put on. And I think that was so, they're so cute. I think it's turning out really cute. And in fact, she did, um, she did release the next part of the pattern, which is the arms. Okay, and she released that today or this morning, and so I'll be doing that next. And of course, the little hands have the little toenails on the, on the fingers also, so I think that's going to be really cute and fun to put together. So I'm really enjoying this. I think it's turning out really cute, as all of Sharon o Oyala's patterns, they're all cute. So I'm going to have to keep her in mind because I want to. Uh, make some more of her pattern. She also, she actually has a little wizard that goes with this, like kind of like sort of inspired, you know, by Lord of the Rings, I suppose. But anyway, um, I wanted to do that to go along with the dragon, I think, because they're both just really cute. So anyway, uh, so that is works in progress number three. Now, works in progress number four is a Christmas present, and it is the stitch sampler. Uh, blanket that I've been working on. I'm trying to remember what I did with the book. Let me see here. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it is working out of this book. I've shown you the last several episodes. Afghans for All Seasons. It is a book I've had for quite a while and this is a blanket called the Stitch Sample Sampler, I think. 
that right? Yes, yeah, stitch sampler. Here is the picture of what it looks like in the book. Okay, now I am doing it in the Lion Brand Mandala Centaur colorway. And like I said, that that is a number three yarn, and uh, the pattern actually calls for a number four worsted weight. And so, of course, me doing it in a number three weight, which is sport weight or like a DK, I, I, I would imagine, I guess. Anyway, so since I'm doing that, it turned out smaller. And I, now I have gotten to the end. Well, actually, I needed about three or four more rounds, but when I was looking ahead at the rounds, they were all pretty much um, single crochet rounds where they were going to kind of because they were preparing to end the blanket. And when I laid it out, I just decided that it wasn't quite large enough of what I, was, what I was wanting it for. So, I'll show you what I've gotten so far. Ooh, it looks really large, but when I lay it out, as far as putting it on a couch or something, it just didn't seem like it's big enough. But here it is. I don't know if you can see all of it. <laughs> Right there so it had gotten I had gotten up to well actually it's the first round of what I'm doing different but all the way up to here and then this little textured round which I really like is the beginning of the next part of what I'm doing okay so what I'm doing <laughs> is if you see the blanket right here whoop, right there on the chair that is the around the bases blanket and that was a crochet along in fact um, and so what I'm doing is because with that crochet along, you start with any size square of your own choosing that you want to do. And you, as long as you end up with a certain stitch count per side, and then you continue on with that crochet along. And it's like a stitch sampler type project as well. And so I counted the stitches that I had and then I kind of that kind of helped me figure out what part to start at plus I wanted to um, I wanted some more texture because I had had some kind of flat rounds right in here and so I wanted another interesting round and so what I ended up doing is I started in the seventh inning instead of parts they call it innings because like around the bases like it's baseball so anyway, so I went over to that pattern and I've started in the seventh inning <laughs> and that is this text, very textured crossover stitch right there. I did end up having to get another cake of yarn here and I've already gotten into it here um, to continue on, okay? Um, I'm trying to remember how many I've got. I think this is the fourth I think this is the fourth cake or it might be the fifth I don't even know now but I was thinking well I guess what I could do is weigh it <laughs> and then um, see how much that is and then figure out how many cakes that was because I'm kind of losing track of how many cakes I've used <laughs> but anyway um, I think probably what I'm going to do is to continue on because I know in a few more parts there's like another bobble stitch type like these the bobble stitches there um, coming up and some other interesting uh, stitches and so I think what I'll do is I'll probably just <laughs> I just use up this cake I thought I was gonna lose my hook there uh, use up this cake and then go ahead and finish off I think and complete complete it okay and uh, oh and this so this is a Christmas gift and also it is part I'm taking part in the cakewalk crochet along that uh, Mo of Unseen Strands and L of No Catchy Name, um, their crochet along that they're doing using cake yarn because I'm using the mandala cake, mandala cake. So that is also participating with in that. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. That's works in progress number four. Now one more. <laughs> works in progress number five is the Mo of Change blanket. This is also a... Um, Christmas present <laughs> okay Christmas present plus it, it also is using cake yarn this is the premier sweet roll in the colorway bubble pop Whoop. almost dro I dropped it but on the table <laughs> anyway here it is I had to go get some more of this so I don't think I've gotten I've only gotten maybe a couple more round a few more rounds since the last time I showed it to you because I had run out 
Uh, I am now this one I am cutting and um, using the colors that I need and so I had run out of the pink <laughs> any of the pink in the cakes and so I went and bought some more and so that's why um, I um, didn't get that much done because I had to get some more so once I get finished with this round I'll back up it's getting large for me to ha hold up <laughs> right there and so once I finish that round this round I'm working on right now which is this pink um, it's these shells right there um, then I'm going to go to white the white is next and that is actually the last round of this pattern so um, I really wanted it to be a little bit larger and so I'm going to uh, decide I may have to I may repeat some rounds or kind of do my own thing a little bit to get it larger I'm not sure but I'm that ambitious <laughs> but also the Mo of Change of course now this is a pattern by Frank O'Randall and it is a free pattern and but he does have a an extension pattern I guess you'd say which is called Mo Mo of Change which now that is paid for but I did purchase it and um, I was thinking that on that one well here's the round part right there and since this is for a teenager it, it would be great for like a small child that size is great um, but since it's for a teenager I really want it a little bit larger and so I went ahead and bought the Mo Mo of change which is there you extend it and it ends up being a rectangular size so I don't know if I will do that I might do that maybe just to get it out to where it turns into a square possibly I'm not sure so we'll see I really like keeping it round but I think I might go ahead and go for the square I don't know but anyway so working on that uh, like I said is also part of the cakewalk cow because it's a cake that I'm using and um, Christmas present also okay so that's all my whips that I've worked on <laughs> uh, I've got of course several whips uh, that are sleeping <laughs> but anyway that's what I worked on this week um, so upcoming now uh, I am participating in the Harmony sample blanket which is a crochet another crochet along <laughs> can't believe how many crochet alongs I'm doing right now um, but that one is by Sarah Satch and she sh she should be releasing the um, the last not the last the July installment of her uh, crochet along for that pattern um, I don't think it's be this next week I think it's another week after that right <laughs> as far as it's always like the last Monday of the month and I think we've got I think we've got another week after so anyway but it's coming it's coming up so um, so you'll be seeing that one if not next week it'll be the one after that uh, and then of course I'm still doing the robot hanging organizer um, I just kind of let it take a nap for a little bit because I wanted to get these other crochet alongs this one and this one <laughs> um, working on so uh, that one is kind of resting right now but it, w it is coming back because it is a Christmas gift as well and let's see now there's another crochet along except this one is a make along that I wanted to mention this one is by hooked on owls uh, her podcast and it is called it is an 80s make along and of course now when I, I heard this was the way I found out about it <laughs> is from because I am subscribed to the hooked on owls podcast but I had not watched her video yet where she introduces this make along and so I was watching Lee at totally dot net hi Lee <laughs> I hope you're feeling better um, and she mentioned that it was an 80s make along and of course I'm a child of the 80s well teenager of the 80s <laughs> and so when it, there's 80s mentioning I I really like to see what it's all about and see if I want to partic participate which I am 
it is a, it is a make along so it's you know crochet knit any type of craft really that you want to do and it has to do represent the 80s in some way and so what I've decided to do because I was trying to think what I wanted to do I know Lee uh, showed in on her video what she's planning to do uh, to participate in it which is super cute project um, but since I it is a is going to be a like a graph gan type thing that she's doing since I'm doing the Christmas character blanket as well, I wanted to pick something that might not be that large of a project to to um, enter. And so what I decided to do is I was looking for an amigurumi that would represent the 80s. And so what I found, which now actually it's been in my library, Ravelry library for quite a while because I have like 12 pages of patterns on my Ravelry library. And this was like on page 10 or something. So I've had it in my library for quite a while to make and I just hadn't done it yet. And so this is a perfect time to be able to do it. I'm still looking. Okay, here, finally found it. I'm going to do this little character here, which is Toad. And this is from the Super Mario video games, which were, I think they first came out around in the 80s. I, well, I, this character, I believe, was in the 80s because it's like from Super Mario 2 or something, the character, I think. And I know that one was like in the 80s. So anyway, and I have the colors I need, so I'm going to be working on him. And now this make-along starts, the, I believe it's at the end of this month. And so I'll put a link to the video where she's talking about the introducing this um, make-along if anybody wants to participate. And I will link it below. And then you can um, check it out and see if you want to... Uh, pick something to do which I think is going to be a lot of fun so anyway so that like I said that starts at the end of the month so I have a little bit to um, before I start that so I just wanted to show you what I planned on making and, and um, share with everybody <laughs> so anyway so the next thing upcoming last thing I want to talk about is um, the now the additional video that I did last week, not my episode video, which is, was episode 58, but the additional one that I also released, which was my blanket roundup video of the blankets that I showed that I donated to Project Linus. At the end of that video, I started um, sharing some of the viewers' tips that were left as a entry to my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, that I had uh, which is now closed but I had a few weeks ago and so I want to share those tips with everyone because I don't know if if everyone you know if if people took the time to read through the comments because there was really some good information in there and so I want to go and share these tips um, giving credit to the person of course that um, gave the tip and then uh, but make videos to show uh, to share them I'll just pick out so many at a time and share share them with everyone in that way uh, we can all learn we might learn something new from it um, or a better way to do something that we already know maybe it would be a better easier way to do it so on that I did that in that bl that blanket roundup. It was like at the end of that video, which would be my I guess that would be like the tips video number one. And so um, on Saturday, this in a couple of days, this is Thursday, <laughs> uh, but on Saturday in a couple of days, I'm I think I'm going to be doing a tip video number two, and I will be sharing some more of the tips. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm anxious to do it because it's like I said, it's always fun to. Um, listen to crafting tips and and um, you might be able to learn something that you didn't know before or whatever anyway so I that's upcoming as well and then I think that's it except for that I did a craft swap with Amanda from Happy to Hook Creations and last week I showed you a couple of pictures of the items that I had some of the items that I had sent her in the craft swap well today I received my box of the craft swap items that she sent to me and so I want to show all of you what um, what she sent to me 
So that's I'll do that right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. So first thing she did, she sent me is this great tote bag that she made. I believe it looks like she held two strands together. Uh, it's a green and a black. And it's very pretty neon green color. Very nice tote bag. Um, very roomy inside. It's got a flat bottom to it and very sturdy handles. I really love it. And I think it's it's very roomy. It's going to hold several skeins of yarn. So I'm really anxious to you be using this um, as one of my project bags. So thank you so much, Amanda. I really, I really appreciate that. You did a great job on it. Okay, so I have that. She also made me a shawl. This is a, I believe, a granny stitch shawl. And, um, I really love it. It's very soft and it's a great size to kind of put around your shoulders when you're get chilled. <laughs> so I really think it's great. I really appreciate it. I think it's gonna it's going to be very warm and cozy when the when, when the weather gets cold again. <laughs> so thank you so much. Very, very pretty. I love the, the browns, the neutral colors. It'll just go with everything. Okay? So there is that. She also made me this awesome washcloth within a granny stitch. And it's um, cotton. I told her that I liked uh, beachy colors. And so uh, this is just perfect. And um, I'm really going to enjoy... Well, I... I don't know if you enjoy using washcloths, <laughs> but it's going to be very nice to be able to use one that is uh, good quality like this. Okay, so, and then the other thing she gave me was, I also, since I told her I, that I did like beachy colors, she sent me a cake of Lion Brand Cupcake in the colorway Sea Breeze. Very pretty. It does have a brown kind of a brownish color. I'm going to open that up just a little bit so you can see it right there. So it's got very nice colors to it. Here's a picture right there of the colorways that's included in there. Oh, the colors, yeah. I really love it. I think it's very pretty. I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet. I'll have to just kind of love on it for a while until I decide what it's speaking to me to tell me what it wants to be. <laughs> okay, and then she also gave me a a uh, skein of Red Heart Scrubby in these very pretty blue shades. Now, I have never used the Red Heart Scrubby, so uh, I'm anxious to try it out and see how, see how it is. Uh, I've been wanting to try it. I just hadn't ever uh, picked any up to try it. Uh, there's a very nice uh, pattern for some scrubby cloths there right on the label and so I may that may be what I make with them I'm not sure but anyway thank you so much Amanda I really enjoy everything you sent me I think it's an awesome it was an awesome craft swap and I really enjoyed or had a fun time doing it with you so um, I think that is it oh one thing I did make a little purchase and I went to Walmart the other day um, and had to get another one of the centaurs for the um, blanket that I'm working on and I happened to look way up, up way up on the top shelf <laughs> and there was a package it was a three pack package of Lion Brand Mandala still in the plastic all wrapped together and it is in the colorway troll and that is a new colorway if anybody's uh, familiar or at least it's not part of the original five or six or seven, I don't know how many. The original colors that, that the mandala has come out with, uh, those are the only ones that I was ever been able to see find here in my area, but they had the troll. Isn't that awesome? Wonderful, bright, cheerful, happy colors. There's a picture of the color range right there. Very neat, very neat. I So, in fact, like I said, it was on the very, very top shelf, and so I had I asked an employee that happened to be in that aisle there if that if she could get it for me. Now she was shorter than I was, <laughs> but uh, of course she went around the corner and got a ladder and climbed up there, and so she opened the package and she pulled it out to show it to me, 
and she's like, oh, you just want the one? I said, oh no, I'll take all three of them. <laughs> and so I did. And so I asked her, I said, now, does that mean that, because I said the troll is actually a new set of colors that, that the Lime Brand Mandala released. Well, not real new, but I mean, you know, newer than the original group. And I said, does that mean y'all are going to start getting some of the newer colors? And she said, um, she, uh, I'm trying to remember what her answer was. I mean, it wasn't like real definite, but she said, well, try checking like at the end of the month when we get in some more yarn, uh, well, you may start seeing some of the new colors because she was actually clearancing out a few of the not the mandalas though she was putting clearance stickers on some of the red heart yarns not real big clearance i mean maybe like 50 cents cheaper than the actual price something like that but anyway she was just saying that she was thinking since she was putting the stickers out that they were going to be clearing some out and getting something else in so i'm definitely going to check back at the end of the month and see if i do see some of these uh newer colors so exciting about to hear about that or to see it anyway so, okay, I think that's it. I've been talking a long time. Um, I just get real excited. I love Thursdays because I love filming and getting to visit with, with all of you. So, um, I just get excited and probably talk really fast. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just want to mention and, and thank uh, and say thanks to all of my subscribers my new subscribers and my original subscribers thank you so much for watching my videos and and commenting such kind things um, such kind comments to me about the things that I do so uh, I like I say I always say I know I always say it, but I really enjoy making so many friends here uh, with my my viewers. And when you leave comments, uh, it's a way I can get to know you better. So um, I'm always happy to happy <laughs> to read all the great things comments. Anyway, so if you haven't subscribed please do. Uh, I do make weekly videos showing all of my projects and things that I'm working on. Uh, and you can see from start to finish the progress on my projects that I work on. Uh, also, I have been putting a little extra videos here and there. So, um, um, I hope that you will check back and, and but subscribe and that way you'll get notifications. You can hit the little bell at the bottom, get notifications on when I do uh, release a new video which I try to always release one on Thursdays but then I do throw some extra ones in here and there and I am looking forward to doing another tutorial soon so um, that is upcoming in a little in a in a bit I need to clear out some of these works and progresses that I'm doing so um, but stay tuned also for that and uh, please hit the thumbs up button below if you liked this video and enjoyed seeing all the stuff that I do <laughs> and let's see I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything I don't think so I think next week I will uh, make a list I have been watching a few new uh, people here on YouTube new podcasters and so next week I will uh, make myself a note that I will uh, gather some of the new names together and let you know some new people that I found here on on YouTube uh, for you to check out as well so uh, stay tuned for that so I think that's it uh, everybody have a great week uh, I've been kind of getting things straightened up around here we're having a birthday party for my son my son my younger son his birthday was yesterday and he turns he is now 16 years old that's my the age of my baby <laughs> and um, we are having a birthday party for him tomorrow so I've been getting things together and so after the birthday party and then on Saturday uh, I should have time to make the tip video so anyway I want to wish him a happy birthday and uh, we will see you I hope everybody has a great week and we will see and talk to you next week <laughs> bye